When Season 1 launches this March, you'll be able to unlock a new playable character for your squad. The Joker. At least buy me dinner first. <laughs> I think we've taken him back to the kind of more vaudeville roots of Joker. He's masking insecurities with traditional Joker behavior. But deep down, he's not sure who he is yet. Lock him up. Oh, making new friends after a move is always tough. What have you done? Never have I seen a more self-destructive release in my life. The name of this game was very well earned. Rocksteady essentially whipped out their chode and pissed all over the Arkham franchise, whether it be by killing Batman in the most disrespectful way possible or giving the Super Size Squad the most plot armor I've ever seen in a game. Like any one member of the Justice League could have killed these guys in less than a minute, but chose not to hundreds of times. Also, what the f is that? Bro, people are calling this guy the goddamn giggler. Rocksteady used to be known for making well-optimized, well-written, and very fun-to-play Batman games, which is a complete polar opposite to this game. Here, it feels like a big, empty Fortnite map that has you doing the same three mission types over and over and over with tons of bright colors and numbers flashing in your face like a form of hypnosis, desperately trying to keep your attention so you don't ever have time to realize you're playing a live service turd freshly pinched from the anus of Rocksteady. Just before they run to another studio like a food truck dodging the FDA. Like people were struggling to play this game in early access even though they were playing alone. And it's not like the amount of people that were playing in early access was a large number. I think this game peaked at like 12,000. And conveniently, the game store was still working. Even someone like Mudahar, who has NASA level Wi-Fi connection, couldn't play the game by himself. <laughs> Kill the Justice League is a really weird game, like I'd say that everyone unanimously dislikes this game, but it's on a spectrum. Kind of like the people who decided to make this. You either hate this game with a passion, or you don't really care about it. And then all the way to the right you have complete loss of brain activity. And I'd say I'm somewhere in the middle, but parts of this game are just so unbelievably dumb. Like, instead of using the already established idea of Batman having specific plans to creatively take out the Justice League, they say, screw that, let's kill the bulletproof guy with bullets. You mad genius. Your dark gift has finally paid off. It, it has? This dome is obviously lined with copper. Yeah, so? Sir, uh, copper drains my powers. Your weakness is copper? Along with the guy who's faster than the speed of time. That's the Flash? You might as well post him the bullet. Let's get this out. You might as well post him the bullet. If I was making this game, the first thing I would do is cancel it. I would have replaced Wonder Woman with Batman, giving him a much larger role where he's basically carrying the supersized squad, taking out Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, and The Flash in ways that aren't just shooting them with a bunch of bullets. Then, at the end, we would get a nice Batman v Superman fight, where Batman severely wounds Superman before dying, making it possible for the Super Size Squad to kill Superman. Which I know isn't perfect, but I would argue is ultimately way better than forcing another multiverse down our throats to justify shitty gameplay before shooting Batman on a park bench. Jeez. She fell funny. And if it was really up to me, I would have just made the Batman Beyond game, because that version of Batman hasn't ever really been explored, and would be way more interesting than the ninth adaptation of the Super Size Squad, but that didn't happen. And now this is what we get. A live service game parading the corpse of a beloved franchise. And it's just sad to see how far Rocksteady has fallen, and... Uh, I don't know how it happened. Was it toxic masculinity? Was there a gas leak in the office? And it's not like I want to hate this game. I tried really hard to find some positives, but all I could find is that I liked one joke. What are you doing, mate? I'm smiling. Oh, 
You're right. Terrify the bastard. Perfect. But that doesn't mean much when these guys are constantly quipping, just throwing poopy joke after poopy joke at the wall, hoping something sticks. The only other positive I'd say would be the voice acting. Every voice actor fits perfectly for each character. But near the end of the game, there's a lot of cringy bad guy laughs. <laughs> So if you're on the fence about this game, don't get it. It's a looter shooter stuffed with microtransactions that's more likely to give you an epileptic seizure than an actual enjoyable experience. And the fact that Rocksteady thinks that this game is worth $70 just goes to show the current state of gaming. And I can't understand how anyone can defend this game. Like one of the amazing writers of Kill the Justice League responded to an IGN article saying that Kevin Conroy was okay with what they did to Batman, which sounds like a big steaming pile of horse manure. I don't know the specifics, so I am just guessing here, but I think Batman's dialogue before he dies doesn't feel very coherent, so I think Kevin Conroy might have passed before getting to finish the game, and Rocksteady made the best of a bad situation, forcing a major character death in a game that they didn't really care about to begin with. Or my other theory, which is kind of dark, but it's possible that Kevin knew his condition wasn't good and he agreed to this stinky game for money so his family would be taken care of. And you know, they might have told him that it was gonna be a really cool ending to one of his most iconic characters, which is a sad thing to think about, but I definitely know for a fact that he wasn't thrilled about Batman getting picked on like a middle schooler before getting shot in the head. So overall, I would say that the Silly Squad is a 2 out of 10 with a big stamp of stinky doo-doo and is probably going to wind up being the worst game of 2024, which is a crazy thing to think about because the year just started. Moves with this.